What are you hearing other than economic development? Well, one of the things I was out last night and I was in, uh, in uh, the northeast section of town and we used to have a, an old Duke and Duchess gas, uh, gas station at the uh, corner of Hole and North Main. And I was asking residents, I said, what would you like to see of that? And I, one response was, the city buy it for a dollar and make it green space. Green space. So North Cantonians want more green space. They want green space. Price Park's not enough. And and you know we've got Price Park, we've got Dogwood Park, but when you talk to residents in the Northeast End, they feel forgotten. And that's that's what I heard last night was they feel forgotten because they say all all in the Northeast End is just bricks and mortar and concrete and asphalt. And so Mayor Kelly's going to work on rectifying that. Absolutely. If this is what the people want, I mean, you know, we got some people talking about a community garden. Um, this woman said, hey, why don't you put a gazebo there? You know, just something, you know, something nice that pe the neighbors can walk to and, and have, some, you know, their own little green space in that area. Uh, I, that was, I thought that was a good idea. Okay. Now, speaking of Canton, uh, North Canton's neighborhoods, what kind of condition uh, do you think they're in? You know, we, we have great neighborhoods. Um, I, I really don't, in the neighborhoods I've been into, I, I don't think they're, you know, I don't know if, if you know, word, use the word blighted, I think 95% of the people in the city maintain their homes and it shows. Um, Are there some sore spots in the North Canton um, in terms of uh, blight? Uh, not really. I think the biggest concern, what I hear, is there's too many rental properties, and those rental properties aren't maintained. Um, so that's been kind of another question. Is like, you know, we've got all these rentals, it's driving down my property value because the landlord's not taking care of the grass, you know, the weeds are overgrowing, and the tenants don't care, and, and things like that. Um, so, you know, and that's in the Northeast End, that's also, that's, that's really pretty much in every ward in the city. And so maybe we, we come up with, with an ordinance. I was just reading uh, about Dublin, Ohio. They have a pretty strict um, ordinance when it comes to uh, uh, rental properties and, and how, you know, how many you can have before they gotta be owner occupied. I mean, it, it's, it's pretty intense. Um, I don't know if we go that far, but I think we can come up with a, a, an ordinance that will, you know, hold the, the property owner responsible for, for mowing the yard and, and making sure the weeds uh, aren't there and they, you know, paint their house when they need it or side it or clean the siding, things like that, because it really does affect uh, the neighbors. Well, there's been somewhat of a controversy in uh, North Canton. Uh, whether there should be stricter uh, code enforcement as a way of keeping neighborhoods up or take the incentive approach by offering um, uh, tax uh, rollbacks. Where does uh, Scott Kelly fall on that, uh, in that discussion? Well, I've heard, I've heard about the, the uh, zoning and everybody wants a full-time zoning inspector. Apparently our, our gentleman now is, is part-time. And so maybe that's something we look at, uh, is hiring a full-time zoning inspector or maybe having two part-time. So if this guy's working three days a week, the other person can work the other two days or so on and so forth. We does, have, does that mean you favor code enforcement yeah, over, over incentives? Absolutely. Uh, because when it comes to uh, tax abatements, um, we got to look at what it hurts when you give property tax back. Okay, first of all, one it hurts the city school district, and I think we have found that out as why the school district is is putting on this. Uh, and we're talking about the North Ridge uh, abatement there. Just, just, and I know there's been some other residential abatements um, uh, too. So, so, are you generally opposed to uh, uh, to abatements uh, for residential? properties generally? Generally, because if you think about residential, you know, maybe the city will get some money back in, in recouping services, but you know, if it's a retired person, 
um, your obviously your pension, your Social Security is not taxed. So basically, it's, it costs the city more to provide services to residential than it would commercial because you're really not seeing a return on your investment uh, when you have to to uh, provide services um, and you don't see uh, any money back in income tax. Uh, then it's it's kind of it's not beneficial, you know. Now, now 